discussing 7th pay commission today which was finalized yesterday by the cabinet uh, so as widely known 7th uh, pay commission uh, is is a boost of about 1 lakh crores uh, to the uh, to the government employees as well as the pensioners uh, this is this, this decision was cleared by the cabinet yesterday uh, incrementally what this means is uh, not exactly 1 lakh crore but 85 to 90 thousand crores has been cleared by the uh, central government and that will uh, be in the kitty of the government employees uh, within this financial year. There were some concerns earlier that this entire amount of money may not uh, be given in this financial year considering the, financial, uh, considering the fiscal uh, stress. However, uh, government uh, has uh, cleared the entire amount. So this will uh, be a huge positive from the consumption point of view. Uh, we are uh, we are expecting uh, overall increase in the consumption of consumer durables, uh, real estate, uh, etc. Uh, this will also be uh, a, a reasonable positive on the GDP front. It is expected to boost GDP growth by 65 basis points in financial year 17. On the inflation front, uh, it is a you know a reasonable negative because the HRA uh, component uh, has been increased substantially under the new recommendations of the 7th pay commission which is uh, which is going to have a significant negative impact on cpi uh, even otherwise uh, cpi currently has is much ahead of rbi's comfort zone uh, rbi wants to achieve a 5% kind of number by the end of this financial year at the moment it looks like uh, uh, eventual cpi data will be much higher than uh, rbi's uh, targeted zone so therefore uh, we are of the view that uh, there is uh, largely no scope for further uh, rate reduction considering the current pace of inflation as well as the pressure which is going to come from the 7th uh, pay commission. Uh, thirdly on the savings front, uh, generally if we uh, look at the previous trend, uh, savings uh, inch up by about 50 basis points to a percent of the GDP uh, after the announcement of the pay commission. So we expect the similar uh, uh, trend to play out in this uh, financial year as well as for the years uh, going ahead. So for, for the next uh, couple of years, we are expecting savings rate to, to increase by 50 to 100 basis points of GDP, which in turn you know, should also uh, boost investment. However, that of course uh, going, is going to come with a huge lag. Uh, on the fiscal deficit front, uh, yes, uh, uh, we do understand or, or as far as we can see in the numbers, uh, there is a concern if this uh, entire amount has been budgeted by the uh, by by the finance ministry. However, our feedback from the uh, government officials uh, reveals that uh, there are no concerns on this. Uh, they are uh, quite confident that fiscal deficit target of 3.5 percent for FI 17 will be achieved. So therefore, we go you know with the, with, with that number. And even otherwise, for the last few years, we have absolutely not seen any slippage on the fiscal deficit front. So we do expect even if there is any stress towards the end of this financial year, uh, it will be well managed by the government. So uh, so all in all, we expect fiscal deficit targets of 3.5% also to be achieved uh, for FI17. Lastly, uh, you know we do want to highlight that 7th uh, pay commission right now has been announced uh, for the central government employees. This is also expected to be followed by the state governments. Uh, which uh, we believe is going to have a much larger uh, multiplier impact. So generally in the past we have seen that uh, 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 state governments give away three and a half to four times higher uh, uh, quantum in terms of the salaries uh, to their employees. So uh, what we believe is that uh, overall payout by all the states uh, will be to the tune of three and a half to four lakh crores which you know should further boost the consumption spending savings uh, as well as gdp in the next few years so all in all we believe it's a it's a big bonanza for the for the for the econ economics as well as for the sectors and, and definitely for the employees and we do expect it to have a significant impact thank you so much